Hi, my name is Gracia. I'm a junior at North Platte High School. And this poem is titled, Wanted, Self-Care. I'm in the middle of fumbling through my wallet for $11.20. It's 10.30 on a Saturday night. My day was supremely average, but I still have this unsettling, almost sad feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I wanted to do something for myself, so here I am at Walmart with my lemon cake, halo top, ice cream, and bath salt in hand. I look up and see the cashier staring at me. Do you want to talk about it, he says. Of course, he's probably joking, or maybe he just thinks I had a breakup or something, but either way, he doesn't really want me to answer. Actually, I could use your help, I say. I'm looking for someone about yay tall, yay wide, goes by the name of self-care. The cashier looks puzzled. As you can see, I looked in the face masks and the dessert aisle. You know, I have to confess, I've been kind of struggling mentally for the last 16 years. I don't really know what self-care looks like. All I know is that I've been reading about it from Instagram models and those little Snapchat stickers. At first, I was really skeptical, like, oh my gosh, you guys are really using self-care as an excuse to be lazy, but now I'm so on board. <laughs> Cashier boy nods, so I continue. I see some people looking for self-care at the gym, but from what I can tell, self-care is based on lighting candles and procrastinating. So I did all those things. I read all the chants from the book I got in the public library. I sat in the chalk circle to summon self-care, and you're not going to believe this. Self-care was a no-show. I'm kind of struggling here because I need to have an appointment with self-care. Like, we need to meet, OK? I'm kind of falling apart, and I'm kind of convinced that self-care can help me with this. <laughs> There's tears in my eyes now, and I'm getting desperate. But the cashier looks slightly less bored, so I rip the lid off the halo top, and I dig in with the little plastic spoon inside, and then I get back to my one-sided conversation. I'm like a bounty hunter now, and I want to capture self-care for a reward. But I don't know what the reward is. I just don't understand, I say. I've stayed in bed for days on end. I binge watch Netflix shows. I push off everything else so that I can focus only on self-care, and this is how I get treated. I wish I had never even heard of self-care because now I'm obsessed with something I don't even know exists. Do you think self-care exists? I don't even give him time to answer before I realize that I probably look ridiculous shoving spoonfuls of ice cream in my mouth in the middle of Walmart. So I put the lid back on the halo top and I grab my receipt, but I add, if you see self-care, please, please let them know I'm looking for them or even self-care's cousin, healthy coping mechanisms. <laughs> And then I snap back to reality. Cashier boy raises his eyebrows, waiting for me to answer his question, do you want to talk about it? I grab my receipt. <laughs> I smile. I'm good. Thanks.